Hey there, ready to dive into something truly out of this world? I'd say so. We're tackling the LA UFO incident from 1992. Right. An event so big it made headlines globally. Yeah, it's huge. We're talking eyewitness accounts, official statements, the works. Right. Think of this as your shortcut to understanding what went down in the skies above LA that night and why people are still talking about it. And what's fascinating is that it wasn't just a blip on some radar screen. Right. This was a shared experience for an entire city. Wow. That's a lot harder to dismiss than your average, I think I saw something weird story. Okay, so paint the picture for us, March 13th, 1992, Los Angeles. Okay. What exactly are people seeing? It really runs the gamut. Okay. We have reports of a V-shaped formation of lights moving silently across the sky. Really? Others describing a massive single object, almost like a giant platform hovering with lights. Wow. Some even claim to hear strange humming or buzzing noises. Can you imagine looking up and seeing that? Yeah. Not your everyday occurrence, right? Not at all. And what makes this even more compelling is that it wasn't just folks at home who were seeing this. Right. We have accounts from police officers on duty that night. You're kidding. They described these lights hovering at a low altitude, totally silent. And it That's not your average aircraft behavior. You can't blame people for finding that unsettling. Nope. So everyone wants answers naturally. Of course. That's the official word. The Air Force initially stated it was just a missile test from Vandenberg Air Force Base. <sighs> Seems plausible, right? On the surface, maybe. Okay. But I'm guessing it wasn't that simple. You guessed it. Yeah. Many eyewitnesses just weren't buying it. Why not? No visible missile trail, no sound, didn't quite line up with what they saw. Interesting. Plus, think about the technology back then. Right. The idea that a missile could just cruise over L.A. Yeah. Undetected. Yeah. People weren't shy about their skepticism. And this is where it gets even more interesting, right? Years later, some of those government documents related to the incident get declassified. Uh -huh. What do we find? We find an admission that they were tracking an unidentified flying object over Los Angeles that night. Okay, hold on. Yeah. They admit to tracking something, but... But they never say what it was. Oh, wow. Talk about a cliffhanger. Hey. You've got this massive event, official explanations that don't add up, and then radio silence. Wild. Perfect recipe for speculation to run wild. Totally. It's like this event got its hooks into pop culture. Oh, yeah, for sure. Do you remember what it was like back then? What stands out? It was impossible to escape. Mm. Aliens were suddenly on every magazine cover. I know. Movies played on the mystery. Even late night comedians couldn't resist a good UFO joke. Right. This one event seemed to touch everything. And that makes you wonder, did it push more people towards believing in extraterrestrials? It's hard to say, for sure. Yeah. But it definitely fueled the conversation. Right. It wasn't just about aliens. Either people started talking more about government transparency or the lack thereof. Right. This sense of, we're not being told everything, really took hold. Right. And that feeling probably wasn't helped by the lack of concrete answers even decades later. Yeah. So where do we stand now? Have we cracked the case of the LA UFO? You'd think with all our technology and research, we'd have a clearer answer by now. Right. But the truth is, it's still up for debate. Really? What are some of the leading theories floating around out there? Well, some researchers point to classified military aircraft, something the public wouldn't have known about at the time. Like a stealth bomber situation before everyone knew about stealth bombers. Exactly. It's not outside the realm of possibility that something similar was being tested back then. Uh -huh. Others lean toward experimental technology. Okay. Something being tested at a nearby base, pushing the boundaries of what was publicly known. Interesting. And, of course, you had the extraterrestrial camp convinced it was a genuine alien spacecraft. I can see how people get there. Unidentified flying object. It's kind of baked into the name. <laughs> but what's the evidence for each of these? And are there any that seem more likely than others? That's the thing about this case, isn't it? We're dealing with a lot of speculation, a good dose of what ifs, but no real smoking gun. Yeah. No hard proof to definitively say this is it for any of the theories. So we've got these eyewitness accounts that contradict the official story, newly released documents that raise more questions than they answer. Yeah, it's a lot to unpack. It's no wonder this thing became such a sensation. Okay. But where does that leave US decades later? What can we actually take away from all of this? It's a great question and it gets to the heart of why these kinds of events are so captivating. Yeah. We may not have definitive answers about what flew over LA that night, but the LA UFO incident gives us a fascinating look at how we grapple with the unknown.
I like that. Even with all our technology and information, some mysteries just refuse to be neatly solved. And maybe that's part of the appeal, right? What? Love a good mystery. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. But this wasn't just some fictional story. A whole city experienced this, and the ripple effects were huge. For sure. It made people question what they were being told, spurred all sorts of pop culture interpretations. It, it made the idea of the unexplained feel very real. Absolutely. And it reminds us that sometimes just asking the questions, being willing to consider different possibilities can be just as impactful as having a cut and dried answer. Right. It opens our minds to things beyond our immediate understanding. I love it. So the next time you see something strange in the sky, maybe just maybe it'll spark that same sense of wonder and curiosity that the LA UFO incident ignited in so many. It just might. Great stuff today. Thanks for taking us on this deep dive.